AP photo, Brody Schmidt, file, name, Justice Hill position, running back school, Oklahoma State Conference, Big 12 class, junior jersey, no. 5 recruitment rating, 3 star HT, 5 feet 10 inches WT, 198 DOB, in November 14, 1997, highlights, Oklahoma State RB Justice Hills highlights from the 2018 football season. Hill rushed for 930 yards and 9 touchdowns this year. Check out his full season highlights with the Cowboys in 2018. Pros, Justice Hill has three years of production and consistency as the primary running back at Oklahoma State, but probably projects better as a change of pace back in the NFL. He is an electric playmaker anytime he has the ball in his hands and was surprisingly durable throughout his college career for RB his size. Hill possesses good vision, allowing his blocks to set up before he makes his cuts. Shows a strong cutback ability. Possesses light nimble feet and a jump cut that helps him sidestep defenders. Is elusive in the open field with enough wiggle to make would-be tacklers miss in one-on-one -on -one situations. Shows good burst and speed to pick up chunk yardage. Good contact balance. Solid in pass protection, but needs to clean up his technique. Despite not being utilized in the passing game in college, he has the skill set to be more of a factor as a receiver out of the backfield in the NFL. Good, but not great route runner. Needs to become more consistent at the catch point. Speed, elusiveness, and vision could help him become a factor in the return game even though he wasn't asked to do it in college. Cons, the biggest negative about Justice Hill is obviously his lack of size. This will likely limit him to nothing more than a change of pace running back in the NFL. His small stature also creates durability concerns, especially when you take in consideration his upright running style. Unfortunately, his slight frame may already be maxed out. Hill wasn't used much in the passing game at Oklahoma State, only 49 career catches. When he had the opportunity, he didn't show the softest hands on tape, but was good enough to get the job done. The willingness is there in pass protection and is a chip blocker, but once again his size limits his effectiveness. Also needs to clean up his technique in pass pro. Will more than likely be a non-factor in short yardage situations. Just doesn't have the strength or power to get the job done. Needs to learn to take what's there in the running game instead of always looking for the home run. Tries to bounce his runs outside too often. There are questions about whether he can contribute in the return game. Has the speed and elusiveness to be a return man, but wasn't asked to do it in college. Cowboys fit If the Dallas Cowboys are looking for a running back who can bring a little something different to the table than Ezekiel Elliott, former Oklahoma State RB Justice Hill could be their guy. There is a lot to like about the skill set Hill would bring to the Cowboys offense. He is an electric RB with home run ability any time he touches the ball. He could be the perfect complement to Zeke's running style. As exciting as Hill's college tape is, he is probably nothing more than a change of pace back in the NFL and would serve in capacity with the Cowboys. There are several areas of his game he still needs to improve upon, but as a rookie he would likely step in and be their third down back. He didn't do it in college but his speed and elusiveness could make him a factor in the return game as a kicker punt returner. If the Cowboys like his game, they will probably have to use one of their two fourth round draft picks to secure his services. 2019 NFL Draft Dillas Cowboys Justice Hill Oklahoma State Cowboys running back Well Cowboys Nation, when the 2019 NFL Draft finally gets underway in April we will have to sit through 57 selections before the Dallas Cowboys are finally on the clock in the second round with the 58th overall draft pick. But, what if I told you there was a way they could recoup the first round draft pick? Would you be interested? Now, before we get started let me make one thing clear, this is completely hypothetical. This isn't something I have heard floating around the rumor mill or something the Cowboys would even consider. 
It's just a little out of the box thinking on my part involving a player currently on the roster who I believe could be expendable. You may have guessed it already, but the player who I think could help the Dallas Cowboys recoup a first-round draft pick in 2019 is right tackle Leo Collins. Before you get all worked up, I know way believe Leo Collins is worth a first-round draft pick by himself. But, if the Cowboys were to package him with a future draft pick probably a first-rounder in 2020, they could realistically trade up into the latter part of the first round this year. Dallas Cowboys owner and GM Jerry Jones I don't know about you, but if there was a player still on the board the Cowboys liked in the back end of the first round this year, I would absolutely package Collins in the 2020 first rounder to trade up. It seems like a lot to give up but not if you actually look a little closer. The Cowboys would basically be exchanging years without a first-round pick and getting something right now for a player who doesn't seem to have a future with the organization. Lael Collins is after all entering a contract year and might net the Cowboys a mid-round compensatory pick in 2020. Dallas likes those comp picks, but there's no way they would be able to get a first-round talent with one next season. I don't know if this is something the Cowboys have discussed behind closed doors or not, but I definitely think it's in the realm of possibility. In fact, they may already have Collins' replacement at right tackle already on the roster in Connor Williams. He was after all an offensive tackle at the University of Texas, and was considered one of the best not that long ago. With the possibility of moving Connor Williams to RT it would of course create a void at left guard. But again, the Cowboys have someone they could insert there as well, Xavier Suafilo. He started 8 games for them at LG last year in 2018, and performed pretty well in those starts. The only thing left to do would be to find a trade partner. I think there would be several teams in the latter part of the first round who would be interested in acquiring Lael Collins if packaged with the Cowboys' first-round draft pick in 2020. That includes the Oakland Raiders who just so happen to have two selections in that area, one of which, 27th overall, was originally the Dallas to begin with. Collins is just 25 years old and has the versatility to play guard or tackle. He is a proven starter and has held up well against some of the best pass rushers in the league. He may be the weak link on the Cowboys' offensive line, but he'd immediately be an upgrade for other teams around the league. What do you think? Would you use Leo Collins to trade up in the first round? AP Photo, David Zalabowski The Cowboys, as expected, have opted to lay low during the early days of NFL free agency. Rather than paying premium prices for premium players, they'll look to improve their roster through cheaper options. Of course, one of the most effective ways to do so is to find talent throughout the NFL draft. And one of the areas the Cowboys most need improving is at safety. Here are three safeties Dallas can likely find on day two of the 2019 NFL draft who would help them fill whatever hole they'd like to at safety next season. Taylor Rapp, Washington Cowboys drafts target, Washington safety Taylor Rapp in the quest to find someone to play the safety opposite Xavier Woods, the Cowboys could look towards Washington's Taylor Rapp in the second round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Rapp can play a mix of box, safety and split safety in the NFL, at his best when coming downhill against the run. Rapp is one of the more polished tackling defensive backs in this draft class and can be a good option to cover tight ends in man as well. Rapp's draft value will differ team to team, but he fits what the Cowboys could be looking for in a safety. Considering Woods' versatility, Taylor Rapp would complement him well in the Cowboys' secondary. Jonathan Abram, Mississippi State If the Cowboys ultimately decide that Xavier Woods is best suited as free safety, Jonathan Abram could fit perfect beside him on this defense. Abram is a traditional strong safety that will instantly make Twitter viral highlight plays with his big hits. Abram can fit as both a box safety and nickel linebacker on the Cowboys defense, allowing Woods to play as a single high safety and find a permanent home. 
Whether or not Abram will be available at 58 is up in the air, however, especially after testing faster than some expected at the NFL Combine. If he is there to be taken, though, the Cowboys need to think long and hard about pulling the trigger. Abram can immediately contribute, defending the run and covering tight ends in the middle of the field for the Cowboys. He also shows upside as a slot player in man coverage with the tools to grow in his cover skills. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Florida While both Rab and Abram would give Xavier Woods a more clearly defined role in the Cowboys' secondary, drafting Gardner-Johnson would add another versatile chess piece to their back end. Gardner Johnson played all over the field at Florida, working as a nickel corner, single high deep safety, and in split zones. Gardner Johnson can fit just about any defensive scheme, though I think his best fit is as a nickel linebacker at this point. With that being said, Gardner Johnson did display the range at Florida to play in that single high role for the Cowboys if asked to do so. To get a better understanding of the wide receivers in the 2019 NFL Draft, I thought I would break them down by position so that we could get a better understanding of exactly which ones the Dallas Cowboys could be interested in. To accomplish this, I grouped these WRs into the positions I envision them playing in the NFL, X, C, or, slot, receiver. I tried to be as honest as possible in my assessment of each wide receiver, but it's a little difficult to project their position in the NFL because it's not as clear-cut as other positions in the league. A lot of these WRs have the ability and versatility to play any one of the receiver positions, and will likely be asked to do so because it makes things more difficult for opposing defenses. Continue reading below to see how I have the 2019 WR Draft class grouped by the position I believe they will play in the NFL. Hopefully this will give you a better understanding of the type of WR the Dallas Cowboys could possibly be targeting. X receiver The X receiver, or split end, is more commonly known as a number one wide receiver in the NFL. For the Dallas Cowboys, this player is unquestionably Amari Cooper. With him on board and more than likely fixing to receive a contract extension, it's highly unlikely the Cowboys are looking to draft this type of receiver. But, we will take a look at them regardless. The X receiver more often than not lines up on the line of scrimmage and is the furthest away from the tight end, typically on the opposite side of the formation. Since they line up on the line of scrimmage, they aren't allowed to motion pre-snap, meaning they usually draw the opposing defense's best cornerback. A typical X in the NFL is a player gifted with size and strength, but speed and route running ability is starting to become more prominent as well. They have to have the ability to work the boundary and beat press coverage. Here are the WRs in the 2019 NFL Draft class who I believe to project as an X receiver in the NFL, Akeem Butler D. K. Metcalf J. Jar Chaga Whiteside Kelvin Harmon Antoine Wesley Travis Fogum Preston Williams Miles Boyk and Jamal Custis C. Receiver The C. Receiver, or, Flanker, is more commonly known as an O. 2. Wide Receiver in the NFL in a sense, the Z receiver is a hybrid of the X and slot WR. For the Cowboys, this player is Michael Gallup. Even with Gallup on the roster, I don't think it would keep the Cowboys from drafting another Z-type receiver. The Z receiver traditionally lines up on the same side of the field as the tight end. This receiver will be set back off the line of scrimmage in order to keep the tight end eligible to run passing routes, which also means they can be used in pre-snap motion. Because of this, they are required to run a more diverse route tree and work the middle of the field more often instead of the boundary like the X receiver. Since the Z position is kind of a hybrid between the slot and X, these receivers line up in multiple alignments and play a variety of roles. They need to be able to play on the outside and on the inside, which only adds to their value. It's that kind of diversity that could intrigue the Cowboys into drafting one of these Z receivers. Here are the W hours I project to be Z receivers in the NFL, Emmanuel Hall David Sills v Terry McLaurin DeMarcus Lodge Tyre Brady Darius Slayton Gary Jennings Jr.
Anthony Johnson primary Z receivers who could receive extra work in the slot, Thebo Samuel Riley Ridley Paris Campbell Stanley Morgan Jr. Keyshawn Johnson Cody Thompson, slot, and big slot, receiver I believe there are two different types of slot receivers in the NFL. The first kind is the traditional, slot, receiver. These are the kind of slot WRs like Cole Beasley has been with the Dallas Cowboys. They are generally the smaller, quicker receivers who win with their separation ability and route running. The second kind is the big slot. These kind of slot WRs are generally too fast for linebackers and too big for safeties to cover. This is an evolving position and players are starting to earn a more prominent role in the NFL. They are kind of a hybrid of a big wide receiver and a tight end. Think Juju Smith-Schuster with the Pittsburgh Steelers or Evan Ingram with the New York Giants. Slot receivers generally have the advantage of getting a free release. They will work either side of the field and are constantly asked to go in motion. They rely on their change of direction and the ability to find open spaces in the defense. With the departure of Beasley and free agency, the Cowboys could be looking at one of these types of slot receivers. Here are the W hours I project to be slot receivers in the NFL, Marchese Brown, Michael Hardman, Andy Isabella, Hunter Renfro, Penny Hart, Ryan Davis, Greg Dorch, Deontay Johnson, Terry Godwin 2. Here are the big slot receivers, uh, Jake Brown, Nikhil, Harry Dillon, Mitchell, Jacoby Myers, Jalen Hurd, Anthony Ratliff, Williams, Lil Jordan, Humphrey Keelan, Doss, Alex Wesley.